James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is September 7th, 2023, 3.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, we've just had another Earth-facing M solar flare. This time an M2.12 solar flare out of a sunspot group that started its activity today. Again, Earth-facing. Heading over to GOES, solar ultraviolet imager, 195 angstroms. We can see the activity pop off in this area here. I'm going to guess that's AR3424. That would be the first substantial solar flare from that sunspot group that has just been named, if that is the group actually that generated the sunspot. Now we have another sunspot group in front of that, Sunspot group AR3423. Now that has shown activity today, but I believe again this is from a newly named sunspot AR3424. And I will try to prove it to you right now. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. Let's find out what the X ray background radiation looked like during that event. This event happened right around 1900, and there you see it. And it was a fairly strong event covering most of Central America, perhaps up into the States a bit, a part of the Gulf Coast, and a large part of the Pacific Ocean. Said so the radio alternation is not out of hand, but this was a 2.12. It was directly Earth facing. And we'll see what it did to our magnetosphere shortly. All right, taking a look at our solar disk and all of the sunspot groups facing Earth, we see that we're very busy. NOAA and NASA have come out today and warned that these sunspots are growing unusually fast and more complex rapidly. We've been having trouble all day with sunspot AR3423, and I believe what we just saw is AR3424 show some activity. You can see that AR3423 has had activity all day long. Nothing from AR3424 that was just named. Now we have an M2.12 solar flare that would most definitely have an Earth component. It did hit our GOES satellite. And we saw the X-ray absorption on planet Earth. So this explosion, solar flare, has just occurred. There's no doubt that there was a coronal mass ejection associated with it. We can see thus far that our magnetosphere did take a pounding. It's past negative 100 right now. But it's nothing like what happened yesterday. Although it could still go lower again as this has just occurred. Our magnetometers show that it is still headed down. We are expecting inbound space weather, two or three separate events inbound, and I would add this as a fourth. So with that said, another M flare, Earth facing, very, very weak magnetos field and shields. We have to see what kind of job this does to Earth, especially with all the other activity that's currently inbound. Just for a reminder, all that activity, the C flare, the M flare, the C flare, the C flare, the M flare, the C flare, the M flare, all took place on September 5th. So we do expect some of that action in the form of coronal mass ejections and plasma to strike Earth at some point later today. With that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share and subscribe. Let's all remember that we're expecting a huge uptick in solar activity, earthquake activity, and volcanic activity because we all know that anything's possible in bizarro world.